Some sad news in the Baltimore slash Indianapolis Colts family today as legendary halfback Tom Maté passed away today. Tom Maté was born in 1939 and was a running back in the NFL in the 60s and 70s and earned a Super Bowl ring at, on Super Bowl V. Maté was surprisingly an All-American quarterback playing college football at Ohio State University under Woody Hayes. He had a decent year in a senior campaign, finishing seventh in voting for the Heisman Trophy. He would be picked in the seventh with the seventh pick in the 1961 NFL Draft. Overall, Baltimore would sign that hey, mostly to run the ball, receive the ball, and return touched kickoffs. Mate actually memorably filled in as an originally quarterback when both. Johnny Unitas and Gary Quazzo went down with season injury and season ending injuries and consecutive home losses, respectively. Matt had played in the Colts regular season finale, which was a victory over the LA Rams, which got them to the one game playoff against Green Bay, but they lost 13 10 over in overtime. Don Shula would put a list of plays on a wristband that Matt wore. The wristband is now a Displaying the Pro Football Hall of Fame as Matt became Matte became one of the first to have plays on his wrist. He would bloom well and all that. He actually came close to scoring in the Super Bowl. He had a couple of botched plays. Matte actually finished, didn't play when the Colts went to Super Bowl V against the Cowboys and won. He was injured in the first game, but he was given a Super Bowl break. He tried again in 1971, and then, anyway, and then he didn't do it. He was traded from the Colts to the Chargers January 1973, but he decided to retire. Matte and many of his Baltimore Colt teammates Alonzo Johnny Unitas disowned the franchise after moving to Indy in 1984 in the dead of night. He was a color analyst for CBS's football games, and he would broadcast Ravens games on local radio with Scott Garceau from 96 to 2005, bringing the city of Baltimore some.